What's up guys, my name is Ethnic and uh, welcome back for more Age of Empires. Today we are going to play the fourth mission of the Barber campaign in the new expansion. And if you watched the last episode, then you know I'm looking forward to playing with some gunpowder units here. So let's get it. The sound of a cannon being fired is indescribable. For a while. I forgot about all of my troubles and simply fired a cannonball each day for my own amusement. Hearing of my new toys, my relatives began pleading for me to retake Transoxiana from the Uzbeks, even awarding me the title Padsha, Great King. A decent ploy, but my attention was now fixed on India. Strictly speaking, India already belonged to me as Tamerlane had once conquered it for our family. As the last ruling descendant of the great Amir, it was only right that I be given back what someone else was only administering for me. That someone was a man named Ibrahim Lodi, an Afghan pretender who ruled northern India from his capital in Delhi. Seeking to avoid unnecessary bloodshed, I wrote him a friendly letter and gave him a goshawk as a present. All that I asked in return was for my lands to be given back to me. Unfortunately, Ibrahim Lodi never replied. And so I had to put down the quill and let my cannons do the talking. With 15,000 men, I marched on Panipat, a small village on the plains northeast of Delhi. Ibrahim for his part, mobilized an army of a hundred thousand. In front of my men, I played the intrepid general, unshaken even by this unimaginable number. But secretly, I wondered if I had not bitten off more than I could chew. Okay. At least one of your castles must remain standing. Complete as many secondary objectives as possible before the battle begins in order to improve your chances. Oh, this kind of reminds me of another mission, actually. Raid the Delhi Auxiliary Forces Supply Stores, Trade Workshops. This will make them train fewer soldiers. Destroy all enemy towers on the road to the northeast so that your Ottoman allies can bring powder supplies to your camp and train more soldiers. Bauer is restricted to a population limit of 200 and cannot build additional castles, docks, towers, or walls aside from palisades. Try to complete as many optional objectives as possible before the Delhi Sultanate attacks. Each one will make the upcoming battle easier. Make sure that the Ottoman gunpowder delivers make it to your camp without the Turks gunpowder. You will not be able to train bombard cannons or hand cannoneers. Babur's strategy is to defeat the numerically superior forces of the Delhi Sultanate in a defensive battle. Do not waste soldiers or resources on pointless attempts to go on the offensive yourself before the time is right. Okay, let's see here. Ibrahim Lodi is so confident of victory that he has delayed his attack. This gives us time to improve our position. So... Okay. Babur. I am dying to let my guns do the talking for you, but without a supply of gunpowder, the fun will not last very long. <laughs> Don't I have a market? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's make town center. There's not many good places for them that I can see. Okay, let's get going here. Bring all my forces together. Yeah, so I guess every time they get a supply... North oh, it's here. Okay, yeah. Uh, but I don't have any siege yet, though, do I? I don't have any bombard cannons. 
So I'll have to rely on these these guys. Mike is a little bit in the way here. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know if they have units here. 22 minutes. I have to weaken them. Okay, so these guys are the most important. Okay, let's go. Instead of drowning in the bloodbath to come. Kill or convert Alam Khan. Oh, I can convert Khans. You know I want to do that. Awesome, I needed that. Oh crap. I don't think I have any upgrades actually. <laughs> Yeah, my one camel died. Okay, I need some trebs. I'll make two trebs. And then we'll kill those towers. And then we need to convert these counts. I think I'll use camels for that. So I don't have to think about that really uh, yet. We have looted more provisions. This will greatly weaken Ibrahim Lodi's auxiliary forces. Yeah, now we're just focused on getting more gunpowder. I have four town centers. I should do the trick. Yeah, they have some units there. Are these classified as archers? That's what I'm wondering about. Oh, there's a lot there. Namaste, Nirmata. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I don't have many more of these. Yeah, need uh, some camels. I have to check how many units have over here, or did they kill everything? Oh, I need my monks to get over there too. Bring the gunpowder to the camp. Nirmata. I want to convert. The delivery has arrived. Oh, I can't construct the walls. Allow us to equip more cannons. Just keep the forces of the Sultanate away from my marksmen and cannoneers, Babur. You can now research chemistry and that crazy tech. Oh no. Hmm, they have a lot more than I thought there. I don't have much time, actually. What about my archer range now? I can soon research them. Let's see, here. yes. And he said, as long as I keep him away from his uh, things here, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Let's try. death lies ahead if he continues to cling to Ebrahim Lord. As soon as the fighting begins, he will take our side. Oh. 
Yeah, we also should uh, kill more of those uh, auxiliary supply stores. But I don't think we have time for that. I think we can only hope to uh, get the Khan on our side. Or choose either or. Yeah. I need a little force of camels here that can raid. You guys, get some more gold. You guys, get going. Try to raid some... Some stuff. Oh. Why are they going different ways? Alam Khan to stab Ibrahim Lodi in the back in the upcoming battle. Nice. Finally, a perfectly crafted intrigue again, just like in our sorely missed homeland. There's some more gold there. I will need that. But now I can start focusing on the gunpowder. The provisions stored in this building will now feed our soldiers and not the armies of the Delhi Sultanate. Nirmata. Yeah, we're doing pretty good now. I don't know if I need this many monks, but <laughs> at least we have them. You guys... Make some of these. Oh, they have a onager. Have to take that out. Okay, we only need one more after this. More provisions. This will greatly weaken Ibrahim Lodi's auxiliary forces. Careful, Amir. For now, we should not go any further in this direction. Or we could provoke Ibrahim Lodi to attack prematurely. It's only like 10 seconds to uh, until they attack anyway. <laughs> I won't have time to kill the last one. Okay, let's go back. You were thoughtless enough to invade my lands, although you are heavily outnumbered. No more waiting. It is time that you pay the price. Now charge my mahouts! Okay. Oh, that's the last one. My vanguard's commanders let me down. You just cannot trust these warlords who call themselves Khans. But it does not make a difference. 
I have enough Indian troops eager to go into battle for me. Yeah, let's see your troops then. I haven't seen anyone. the car and helping me I love it So many uh, spears and stuff, like weak units. Just have to focus on the siege with uh, my camels. I wonder, they have seven, they have nine range, man. Hand cannons with nine range. <laughs> what? The hell? I thought that you wanted to give me the honor of leading the first attack, Babu. Well, apparently you have changed your plans, and that is why I am changing my own. Soldiers, attack! Oh. So far, we're doing great. I need way more camels. Some war, right? Oh, must not be stupid there. These Ottoman gunmen are strong. 
It must be that coffee. No, that was that, that was so bad. <laughs> Yeah, you think. Yeah. Let's take him out. That was really weak against elephants. There comes my calm. Why don't I bring this 11 monks into the action? And, uh, it's just like they said, man. They have like ten thousand men, but they're only like crap, <laughs> crap units. <laughs> Gunpowder units even outrange uh, the Magna or the Omega. Mistake moving forward like this. Adesh, Namaste, Nirmata, Adesh, Mai Tayar Ho. Namaste. Ha. What? Come on! Oh my god, stupid ass camel. Just messing everything. Yeah, I'm in the... I'm in the shit right now. Oh 
Come on, my calm. There we go. I need you. I'm screwed. Just because of these elephants, man. These elephants, man, I'm so fucking annoyed. And I can't even get these camels out because they always die. Oh my god, man. Yeah, they don't help at all against these elephants. They're just useless. Why did I advance? Starting to get a force out. Imperial Camels actually. Oh man. <laughs> that was so good. Enough! It seems like I will have to take up the sword myself. Servants! Bring me my horse and armor! <laughs> Holy moly moly! Yeah, 
Where you at, boy? I was so cocky there. I tried to <laughs> try to uh, push into their base. Almost bite me in the ass. So glad I was born in a time where I didn't have to freaking join a battle like this, like run in with the sword and hope I'm not getting killed by RNG, <laughs> like a random arrow or a sword in the back or some shit. So barbaric. Defeat the Delhi's opening. Okay. Ah. Okay. Do they have any more gold safely? Nope. They have another gun. Then we'll go down there. Okay, let's go. And then I just need some siege, and we should be all good. There is. Ibrahim. Darkness envelops me. Ibrahim Lodi has fallen in battle. Word of his death will soon spread. Victory is within your grasp. Yeah, now we need uh, that siege. Some gold there too. Man, I'm glad I got these cons, man. If I had like flank attacks from the sides as well, I would have been done for. <laughs> no question. No question about it. <sighs> Look at these stupid ass skirms. Oh, I thought for a second the uh, tower ranged my bombards. That would have been stupid. Let's finish what we tried to do earlier. Back in the days. 
Bam. Fire at will! Lost the cannon. Look at my mango. Yeah, that's the thing. Like all that stuff about the. Uh, one man's glory in history that's just bullshit man <laughs> there's no one there's no one that's really really special you know like there are some things but uh, it's about the people the road to delhi is clear awesome fields of Panipat, the enemy's strength in numbers proved to be its greatest weakness. Having never faced firearms before, Ibrahim's terrified war elephants were rendered useless by the thundering of my cannons. With little room to maneuver, his fighters huddled together so closely that they became nearly immobile. Firing straight into their lines, my cannoneers created a bloodbath. Just a few hours after the battle begun, there was nothing left of Ibrahim's army. My men found his body in a mountain of corpses and brought me his head as evidence of his demise. With Ibrahim's death, the Sultanate of Delhi came to an end. I had a tomb erected for the fallen Sultan in Panipat, as a reminder that the great Babur treats even his fiercest opponents with respect. Yeah, he just chopped off his head and just, ah, that's him. And then uh, you talk about respect. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was so good. I love that. Very, very good mission. What's that? Oh, there's a red lake here. Yeah. My mind couldn't really focus on getting relics. Didn't even cross my mind. So, from that cutscene or whatever, it seems like there's more. Ah. I love this. And I hope there's even more. <laughs> okay, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. It was really intense. And I uh, hope I'll see you for the next one. The Rajputs. But for now... I'll just say that, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Peace.